Hi and welcome to another video of Yogta tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about devtool finish command and why it is used. This video is the continuation of the previous two videos in which we learn how to add, how to create a recipe using devtool add and how to test it using deploy and undeploy. This figure shows that the build process of creating a recipe from a source. So in previous videos we learned how to add it, how to build it, how to deploy it and how to undeploy it. We use deploy and undeploy to test the recipe at the target. In this video we are going to learn how to put this recipe to our meta layer or to any layer after finalizing it that it's working. So here is our recipe. This is the recipe that we have created and it is working. We have Let us check it once more if it is working or not. It is already in our workspace if you see. Build workspace recipes and here we have this factorial recipe that is here. So in previous video uh, there was a mistake that I have misspelled this flex and one of the comment have corrected me so I have corrected it here please if you are following you also correct this here now let us first build this once more we will do dev tool build factorial Have you seen that that it has built successfully but if you build only with dev tool it does not do the packaging and all that stuff so for that we need to test it once more with bitpick do it bitpick factorial So as you can see that this time when we have built the recipe we got that an error it says this factorial doesn't have GNU hash it means that it needs an extra hash this uh, verification or checksum uh, hash process that uh, bitpig uses to package the recipe or to package our uh, to package this uh, recipe or to package this final binary for that we need an extra flag that we can add here for that we need to add w minus w l this w will be capital and then comma then we'll do hash style and it is equal to gnu so now let us spell it once again with with pick again we have one more error so the error was that I have I have given an extra space here we don't need an extra extra space it is all one string without any space so let's save it and one more thing to keep in the mind that this all is in inside this inverted comma the single inverted comma with the C flag so now let us build it once more So after building we have seen that now it has been compiled successfully without any error and also it has been packaged. So now we will use devtool finish to put this 
recipe into our meta tablier. To use that we need dev tool finish and we can use help to check how to use it. So it says here the recipe name and destination. So what we will do is we'll say dev tool finish. The recipe name is factorial and then after that our path is meta. I am giving the path here relatively so we'll, we are going one folder back then meta tab layer and inside here I am going to recipe example. So this is the path where I want to put my recipe. Source tree is not clean. Let us try it once more with the force flag dev tool finish minus F now factorial and our path would be meta tab layer recipes example. So it has it says that moving recipe file to meta tablier recipe factorial and leaving source tree as is if you no longer need it then please delete it manually. So what we can do is now if we are done with our work we can delete the workspace and as you can see that now it is kind of empty. So we can also do it manually F workspace. One more thing we need to do is from BB layers we need to remove this otherwise while building it will give us an error. So now if you go to our meta tab layer and here if we see recipe example here you will find this factorial for recipe folder and it will contain it contains the same recipe so now it has been deleted this one because that's why here is a this uh, line and if we open this file it is exactly the same file so what we can do now is we can test it once more do it bit big factorial so now this time it has also built successfully so this is all about how to add test and then how to finish or or move the recipe to our layer folder so hope you like the video please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching